What's going on guys? We're back here with another post-commentated Pokemon Showdown battle. This is actually one of the ULT matches that I had off screen after my latest live session just to get in a better ladder position for the next episode. And it's the same team, but I just had to show this battle because it was so crazy, especially at the end. So right here, my fast Needle Queen is going to come through, Ooh, his Needle Queen. And so he's going to go into Blastoise, and I go into Vaporeon because I can take any hits. Uh, Dark Pulse actually does quite a bit here. Um, I should have just gone for Wish here, but for some reason I go for the Skull, just getting the, trying to get the burn. But I really just should have gone for Wish there, as I go for Protect here just for extra leftovers recovery. Again, I probably could have gone for Wish there as well. I don't know why I didn't. So here, I go for the Ice Beam, predicting him to want to set up on me. And he goes for the Swords Dance, actually, revealing he is the Double Dance variant. Um, I'm really glad he went for SD there instead of going for the Dragon Dance. Probably to get more damage on the Blade. But any damage on the Blade would have been... Uh, would have probably lost me the match at the end. Because he's going to see here, because he went for... SD, I can just sack Pidgeot, which is honestly the most expendable member at this point, and just switch in Hydreigon. I am a plus speed nature, I just knock out this Hy this um, Haxorus with the Dark Pulse. And now he sends in Crocodile, which um, I'm not really sure why he did that, because I can just drop a Draco on him. As the damage is pretty crucial for my... Um, it's pretty neat for the rest of my team, basically. And so here, I don't know what he was predicting. He goes into... Yon Mega and it just dies to Draco. Um, if I were him, I would have gone into it in the first place and gone for the Protect to get the speed boost and try to knock me out with Bug Buzz. Yeah, I really just didn't want his Crocodile getting up Brox for free, and I mean, he doesn't do so at all. And so now he's gonna switch in his Mega Blastoise. I lose nothing from just going into the Poran. At this point, it just kind of wins, to be honest. Um, I go for the Wish here. Hoping he doesn't flinch, he thankfully does not, and I'm forced to go for Protect. I could have gone for the Skull here, predicting his Crocodile, but um, it was a safer play for me just going for for uh, Protect. So his Earthquake here does a little bit too much there, as I pretty much just go for Protect again to get some leftovers recovery. He could have gone for Stealth Rocks here. I actually don't even know. I actually don't even know if he has it. I'm gonna assume he does. So I switch my Hydreigon back in. I just go for the Dark Pulse for damage. This will put him in range of any attack for my Heracross. Well, not any attack, but uh, any stab attack. So I just switch into that and go for the Close Combat as he just sacks his Crocodile as Death Fodder. So here's where it gets kind of interesting. So I'm not really afraid of this Entei because, you know, I have a, I have a, Needle, Queen, a Needle Queen, right? So I just sack Vaporeon as he goes for the Sacred Fire. And I go into a Needle Queen and he decides to sack his Blastoise here. I was kind of confused why he did this, but as you can see later, you're going to find out why he sacked his uh, Blastoise. So obviously this thing is a uh, choice banded. So he's going to come back in here, and he Oko's me with Flare, flare Blitz. And I calc'd it, and um, yeah, it was actually not, it was actually like not even a roll. It was 100%. He knocked me out with Banded Flare Blitz, because I have almost no investment on this Needle Queen. It's just like, it's like 36 HP, and the rest goes into Special Attack and Speed, so... That was pretty bad for me. I did not. I had no idea that uh, Entei could do that. Uh, which so I kind of regret sacking Hydreigon to the um, to the Blastoise so early, and especially when I had Heracross just sitting here. And as you can see here, it's just going to end up being Death Fodder. So at this point, I pretty much had conceded the feat. So I switch in the blade. And I, I did this calc later, but the blade is a warrior. It survives with six percent because it's just so bulky. This is this is an Entei. This thing has a hundred and fifteen base attack, and uh, Flare Blitz is one twenty base power. So um, accounting for stat, that's a in super effective. That's a three hundred and sixty base power move from a hundred and fifteen base attack boosted by Choice Band, and the blade survives that. And I'm able to knock him out with um, Sacred Sword. I killed I killed Shadow Snake. Even a crit didn't KO, so that was my only option. It was actually in my favor to survive that. I calc'd it later, and he had an 18% chance of Oko in me. So the blade just coming in clutch at the end. So that's why it was really crucial that his Haxorus um, got up an SD as opposed to a to a Dragon Dance, because if he had used Dragon Dance, I was basically forced into the blade, and I would have taken a ton of damage from Earthquake. 
and then knocked him out. So, I don't know. Maybe it, it probably would have played differently anyway, just because um, my Vaporeon would have still been... Or my rather, my Pidgeot would have still been pretty healthy. And I don't know if... Yeah, all, sacking Hydreigon to Blasto is honestly just not a... It's not an excellent play on my part, just because... Um, he still had this Entei, and I was under the pretense that Nidoqueen could live a hit. Even Sacred Fire had a chance to KO, so that was pretty good knowledge in the end. But I'm able to pull through, and this is the match that gets me up to uh, 1575, which is around top 50. It's like 53 around there. So that's going to be the battle. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like, and don't be afraid to subscribe. Alright, quick correction to something really minor I said in the middle of that, of that video. Um... Yeah, Crocodile doesn't have Stealth Rocks. I'm pretty sure that that guy's Needle Queen was the one with Stealth Rocks, and I knock it out turn one. So he doesn't get rocks for the entire battle. Again, a really minor thing, but I just felt like correcting myself because I implied in the video that his Crocodile was the Stealth Rocker, completely forgetting about the Needle Queen. Alright, I'm gone for good this time. <laughs>